Hello, this is a tutorial on how to build a simple network sniffer. Uh, first of all, you need to have installed uh, Python version 2. Personally, I use Python version 2.7 on your computer. And we'll be building a simple network sniffer that will capture an IP packet. We'll parse it and print all the information in a human readable form. So first of all, let's write what we will cover during this tutorial. First of all, you'll learn what is an IP header and how does it look like. Then uh, we will learn about raw sockets and uh, we'll also parse the IP header uh, using um, a module from Python called struct module. And also we'll learn a little bit about regular expressions. So first of all we'll create a project. I'm using PyCharm. So let's create a new project. And the location let's say somewhere on disk E and let's call it network network sniffer press OK and let's add new file, a python file, let's call it sniffer and here it is. First of all I suggest uh, going to the python official web page and there you can find um, the module called socket and at the very bottom you'll find a piece of code that actually shows you how to write a simple network sniffer using raw sockets on Windows. So we'll actually copy paste all this stuff and put it right here. So you can read what each line of code is doing, like we are getting our network public interface, then we are creating the raw socket and binding it to the public interface. We are setting some options using set socket options and we receive all packages and we will actually uh, print what we will receive. So in order to run this um, piece of code, you can do it just like that, like if you press run you will see that you get an attempt was made to access a socket in a way forbidden by its access permission. So we actually we need to have administrator um, permissions. That's why we'll run it from the console as an administrator. I was pressing shift alt enter and um, let's see network sniffer And now type python sniffer dot dot py. And here it is. We got some a bunch of uh, information which is not human readable and absolutely incomprehensible. That's why uh, we need actually to parse it somehow. And before proceeding doing that, um, we will actually we'll see how an IP header looks like. So I suggest visiting Wikipedia page or you can enter networksorcery.com and there you can search for um, IP. And here it is, the first link. And this is the IP header. So it's 32 bits long. Uh, it its uh, total length can be a minimum of 20 bytes because here we have uh, like all this stuff it can be bigger because of the options 
but generally we will get uh, this version internet uh, header length, services dot length, and so on until the source IP pageant destination IP address. So right now we will actually write um, a different function for receiving data because um, different things can happen. So what we'll be doing, here we'll write a function def re receive data and it will take as a parameter the socket. So we'll have our data and we will try to receive data as receive from and specify the length um, 65,565 because this is the biggest length that we can get and then we can get some exceptions like timeout exception in this case we will just set the data to a null string and for general exceptions we will print that an error happened so and we will exit actually the mm, our program so in order actually to use this exit stuff you need to import one more module which is called import sys and then what we'll get as you can see here we have a tuple actually and we have a string and one more tuple in it so basically what we need is this stuff so that's why we will indicate that we will return data and the first element which is data with the index 0 so by now we have seen a little bit of, about IP headers and we will we have the code snippet that uh, catches raw, catches IP packets using raw sockets so the rest of it like parsing it and uh, printing it in a human readable form we will cover in the next part